let's talk about the four pieces of uh, the fence that make up the template. I'm, I'm using 516 inch uh, clear truck and the length that I'm using is 610 mil. The truck should uh, sit straight on this piece of timber and when we position the, the base of the router against the truck, the bit should just touch the edge. So the first time that when we put on the truck, we should just leave about a, a few mils out on the edge. And when we finish with it, we will just use the router to trim it up. The distance will be very accurate. I'm going to do it in multiple batches. To connect the two track together, I'm just making the brackets out of a piece of 6mm aluminium. Um, to make the rail, I'm just using hand drill, angle grinder and manual file. I'm going to discuss that one next. I'm using masking tape to mark out where I need to drill. And I progressively drill in the hole to the 7mm uh, diameter. And next, I'm going to cry them out using the angle grinder and then using the manual file to fold it to side. This is what it looks like after the angle grinder thing. Um, from now on, I'll be using this file just to cut the rest of the slot and then file the edges uh, to. Um, the straight line that I would have is the um, I'll do that off camera the second piece finished well sort of finished I cut it up this way with uh, my table saw using the normal carbide tip light it cut it quite okay so I need to cut this way and then this end off as well and of course I need four of them I made them of different lengths, two are of um, 18 centimeters and two are of 20 centimeters. The one thing that we need to keep in mind is this edge of the bracket there need to stay flush with the bracket, otherwise the routing won't be very accurate as I have found out during my test run which included in the later part of this video. To connect the, um, the bracket into the T-track, we have to use um, 5 16 inch uh, T-track nut, which is this one. Uh, the one that I'm using is from a company called Toquata, and I'm using the standard um, 5 and it's 516 nut and bolts and I'm I'm cutting it off like that so I'm, I'm, I'm just using this part so what I do is I just put it in like that and slide it in and then two of them And then like that. And with these two nuts, that should actually secure it in place. To connect them together, I'm using 5 and 16 inch standard T track bolt from a company called, oh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but that is the name of the company there. And this is how it actually works.
Nhấp sau ngay đã And this one come on oh, Sorry Yeah, I, I could have cut the um, the bolt a bit shorter, but I, no, I just didn't bother. So yeah, that secures it down. So that, that is fairly secure. And to move it along, we just loosen this knob and then slide it along. Yeah, so that, that's how it works. Let's just talk about the adjustment, see how it works. So let's just say I want to route out a reset for this mounted plate, which I will do later on. Yeah. It is it is just that symbol. Um, let Try something smaller. Yeah, that, that's it, and we screw down. We screw all the bolt down, and then uh, clamp it as necessary. So this is it closer with the clamp on in the two corner. So it is flush here. All the adjoining part it need to be it need to be flush. Otherwise, when we run the route the router. It will bump against this and it will not be able to go very smoothly. Let's just see this again. Yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, I think I need, I should actually leave it a little bit, um, um, a little bit more out. Maybe not, not so tight. I, um, I think I will get used to it, I will be more precise as I'm using it more often. I have already set it up for a test run. I'm going to route out a reset for this 6mm piece of aluminum. I have already cut two sides. And I'm going to do the rest of it. In order to have more support for the base of uh, the router, I need to move this one in. I need to adjust this one. I'm just move to move. I will have to move it in closer and closer. Actually, not not.
I think at this stage now, the template doesn't provide much more uh, functionality other than just you know the base, the supporting base for the router. I think it is working, but the way that I am demonstrating it is very badly. I think I will stop this shot and then readjust the template again and do it again. That is what it looks like presently. I'm going to readjust the fence again. This is what it looks like now, so I'm not going to adjust the fence again, I'm just going to finish it off. So this is what it looks like. I'll, I'll take the camera closer and so we can have a look at some of the faults. This is what it looked like after finished. So it wasn't very smooth. Uh, here it cut in a little bit deeper than the setting because I was losing the footing support and similarly here as well and here, so several places and here and here so this hole there or the walls already there so that's not a problem so I missed a few spots but I can sand them down with a with a piece of sandpaper so as for the corner I will going to round it up I'm going to I'm going to sweat it up with a chisel I'll do that off camera now here I overcut it uh, I'm not too sure why this actually happened I need to I need to remember it and figure it out. Uh, yeah, it is not that easy using a router. This is the very first time I own a router and use a router. Um, in total, I'm using it less than eight hours. Uh, okay, so this is what it does to the fence. So in the process of in the process of making the fence. The router jump on me and it damages a little bit here and I am putting in some wood filler there 
and now it cut it again almost right where it was but this I don't think it's due to the damage that was there before uh, I just didn't control the router very well um, and a little bit here as well I'm going to, to square up the corner and set this up and try to fit it so finally this is what it looked like it turned out that I need to do more than just square up the corner and set off the high spot, little high spot at the bottom. Uh, I, uh, I need to actually adjust the edges a little due to one of some of the brackets and not flush with the T truck. So it, but it's okay. Yeah, so that, that's what it looks like. So I, I have actually previously put this one through the planner. So the bottom is very, very even. Yeah, so, so, so this is one of the, one of the brackets that is not flush with the, the edge of the, um, the track. So I, I need to actually file this one off a little. Uh, that that is not a problem. Um, so overall, I have struggled a lot to actually route this one out. Uh, but I am I must say that I am happy with the result. Um, with practice, I think I'm getting. I am going to get better with practice. I'm going to get better. Uh, yeah, so there's a bit of a gap there, but oh, it's okay. Hmm. Well, thank you for watching and thank you for putting up with my clumsiness. As I am saying, I'm just a beginner. So I hope you have actually gotten some useful information from this video. Thank you for watching.